Cynthia for Brienne here. I'm outside the tiny house and today is the day that I'm going to bring the little black baby chicks outside to the chicken run. I hope this goes well. Okay you guys, I've got the baby chickens outside and the leghorns are checking them out. They were in the van when I first started bringing them out, uh, two by two at a time, just to kind of test whether or not that they could get through. But the leghorns are definitely curious. It doesn't look like they can slip through, but I'm going to watch them very, very closely. So, I'm really nervous about this, you guys. But look how big, look how big these beautiful baby chickens have gotten. Oh, look at those barbed rocks. They're going to be so, so beautiful. So, well... The new girls are outside getting used to the old girls. And look at how big and beautiful these leghorns have gotten. Oh my gosh, they're just flourishing. It's insane. And yeah, they've been flying the coop. It's so funny. I'm able to wrangle them back in. They don't stray very far. Just look how big they are. I just love them. Oh my goodness. These chickens are so fantastic. Yep, the leghorns are... Definitely checking out the new kids on the block. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go get my chair. I'm going to go cover up my legs so I don't get bit by all the bugs and just sit and watch the chickens and talk to all of you guys. Okay, white ladies. <laughs> you be nice to the chickens while I'm out. I sure hope they can't get through those little slats. I don't think they can. One of them tried and they backed up. They couldn't do it, so I think they're going to be okay. Now, I know it's going to be really super hard for you guys to see through all this mesh and whatnot, but these little birds are having the time of their life out here right now. There's a bunch of feed scattered around on the ground. They got a little water over there. I need to put some more in it. But they've been jumping and flying around. Oh, look at this. What you going to do, girlfriend? What you going to do, Miss Leghorn? They're having a good time. Oh, I need to check somebody's backside over there. Oh, yes, I do. Looks like somebody might be might be pasting up a little bit. I'm going to have to go check that out. Oh, maybe, maybe that's just the color of their butt. I need to check this out. Yep, one of them got up on the roost. Good chicken. What's going to happen over here? It looks like a leghorn. I don't know if she's trying to be a mama. I don't know, you guys. Well, this is the first day that they've seen each other. So, hopefully... Hopefully the leghorns won't go on attack when they all are incorporated. What's going to happen here? They look like they're pecking right next to each other. Picking the ground. They don't seem bothered by one another. Oh my goodness, these are, chicks are going to be beautiful. I need to go check those two bottoms of those two chicks. It looks like they may have some... I don't know, that might just be their feathers. I don't worry, Ward. Well, when I bring them in tonight, I'll, I'll check all their bottoms to make sure they're not pasting up. Well, hello, Curious Mama. What do you think of your new sisters? Oh, just checking it out. Okay, I checked two of their backsides, and the two that I checked are not pasting. That's just the color of their butt. I mean, black chickens, who knew? <laughs> so, um, I checked the two barred rocks, because they're the ones that came right up to me. The four Asian blacks, uh, a couple of them look like they've got a little black spot on their bum, just like the, uh, the rocks do, but I think it's just the color of their butt. So I'm not going to like fuss with them right now. I'm pretty sure that they're okay and that they're not tasting. So I'm just going to let them enjoy their day. And then uh, when I bring them in tonight, I'll just examine them really closely. But the two rocks that I examined, it, they're not tasting. Their vents are completely open. So... I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the chickens. And just look at those beautiful leghorns. 
they found their nice little spot that's kind of partially enclosed <laughs> by the netting that I cut off and they're taking a nice little dust bath and relaxing, chilling out. <sighs> I just hope these two two different flocks get along, you know? I mean, they look so different, you know? These little black chicks. <laughs> these big white leghorns. I know that they're not going to these leghorns are not going to grow as big as the the black ones, but um, I'm just hoping that they all get along, you know, at this stage of their life. Check out my fly trap. <laughs> I got to get some more water in there. It's got maggots in it. Big ones. Is it wrong for me to want to reach my hand down there and pick those up and feed them to the chickens? <laughs> I don't know if I can because I don't know if this stuff that's in there is toxic. Look at those big, fat maggots. That would be delicious chicken food. Look at these sweet baby chickens. <sighs> Taking a little dust bath. That's right, get yourself all clean. You're getting yourself full of clay. I wish I could, you guys could see this better, but this mesh has got to be here. Look. They're just cleaning themselves. Let me see if I can go over to the other side and get a clearer picture. That might be a little bit better. Oops. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're getting full of clay. They seem to love it, though. Man. Those rocks, their feathers are just going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to watch these chickens mature. Oh my gosh. One of them is up on the, the high roost. Another one is thinking about it. <laughs> How'd they get all the way up there? Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Earlier, this one came over and pecked at one of them. They found a new dusting spot. I'm considering putting them in the van tonight in that little wooden coop thingy with the chicken run attached. I don't know, I don't know. It's not going to drop below 60 tonight, but in a few days it will, and I don't want to bring them outside and then bring the whole thing back inside if it's not time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just know that they need more room, you know? I'm gonna have to think about this. Look at that pretty face. Look at that pretty face. <laughs> She's, she just loves to jump. I need to get her to stop doing that. It's hard to do because she's got so much energy. So much energy. Whoa, whoa. You be a good doggy. Oh, see? Look. Yeah, she's trying to peck right around those chickens. Oh, see what I mean? I'll tell you what, girlfriend. These chickens are going to grow up and you're going to be sorry. <laughs> Lovely. Go on, girls. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> yeah. This is not escape proof, that's for sure. <sighs> I think I've made the decision about leaving them in the van overnight. I don't think they're ready. They're kind of, they've kind of been huddling together here. They may just be taking a bath, but I don't know that I'm comfortable leaving them in the van just quite yet. So maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Tonight I'm going to bring them inside and just let them get a little bit older and maybe see if I can find uh, a long extension cord. Maybe Cody and Hannah will come back over or something. Uh, maybe I can ask Mr. Lucas if he's got a, a really long extension cord and put that little heat plate in there so they can clamber around that and stay warm. So 
Yeah, so tonight I'm going to go ahead and bring them in because it looks like they're kind of clamoring together right now, uh, clustering, so and the, and the temperature is starting to drop a little bit, and they seem like they might be getting a little bit cold. I know it's going to be warmer in the van, but maybe I just need to give them just a little bit more time before they stay overnight in the van. So <sighs> it's been a fun day. Anyway, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.